वंदे गुरुपदंदम भक्तबिंदसमित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाचा कल्पतरुश कृपा सिंधु व्यवच पति पावनेभ्य वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकंकरोतिवाचालंगुंगलंगिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदावय तुलसीदेव पिया वै केशव कृष्णभक्तिपद देवी सत्वी नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंचम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोज मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्रश प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति कुमदाक्ष जगोदर धेयम सदा परिभवनमीस्तूं तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भेतातिहम पनुतपाल भवदिपौत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरण सुखेन्द यदपल्लवन खचंदमनी छटाय विस्फुरजीत किमी गोदूषदर्शि और नागर सागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कृपा श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नेतानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नेतानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकर्तन कवितरु कमलाशताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तब पाधपंकज सुरासुरवंदि दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनीत भावान्ूपेन सदा नरान गंगा तरंग रमणीय जटाकलाभ गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तबाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंग मदाकुहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भजवीशनाथ बागीशजुष्वदने लक्ष्मीजस च भक्षसी यहाँ संवीत सिंह महाम भजे 
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Britta Meva Kaloni Nam Janmachar Gunadayo Britta Meva Kaloni Nam Janmachar Gunadayo Britta Meva Kaloni Nam Janmachar Gunadayo Dharmanyaya Vavasthayam Karanam Balamevi Britta Meva Kaloni Nam Janmachar Gunadayo Dharman Dharmanaya Viva Bevasthayam Karanam Balamevahi Gauriya Goshtipati Sisra Bhakti Shidanto Gauriya Goshtipati Sisra Bhakti Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Jagadguru Paramahans Jagadguru told that uh, to not to do Krishna Bhakti Sangh association if you are doing uh, other kind of association different different kind of association you have to leave you just need to do Krishna Bhakti Sangh their association only Srila Bhakti Sangh Saraswati Goswami Thakur Paramahansa Jagadguru told that you have to do the association of Krishna Bhakta and whatever association is there apart from that you need to leave that physically if physically if it is not there still mentally you have to leave that why because this is this is one kind of technique externally in you can see all in the material uh, world whatever the rules and regulations are there whatever they are fighting this that and if they will not uh, uh, accept it from, from heart then if they will not accept it from heart internally it means that that i haven't done that activity because association actually bhaktivinoda thakur speaking that with asakti association is possible if there is no asakti then there is no association so so to do krishna bhakt association you have to leave all kind of association apart from that you have to do the association of Krishna Bhakta Sangh is all Mangal May bliss is bring hap, blissful and happiness. And by doing a satsang, if you are just going for other things apart from Krishna Bhakta, then definitely that will give you all distress and unhappiness. Definitely. And all those bonded souls they have their natural intent like this. Natural behavior. Prabhupada actually speaking this point. that the this is the actual uh, sabhav of uh, the bonded soul that those who those who have no connection with the krishna bhakta and bhajan to do their association that is the natural behavior that is a natural disease for them for all those bonded souls that's why What, to whosoever uh, that that object which is not at all related with Krishna Bhajan, if you are doing association or connection with them, if you are if you are making a connection, okay, externally you can make, but internally you should don't you do, don't have any connection with them. You should not have any connection with them internally, unless or until in the way of Hari Bhajan there will be a lot of barriers. Prabodhana Saraswati has already told this. I have already told this point a lot of times before as well. If you need uh, the Kripa of Gorang Mahaprabhu, and if you are your if the devotees of Gorang Mahaprabhu are not doing Kripa on us, and if Gorang Mahaprabhu is not doing Kripa on me, then then where I will go? Because in all the four directions, a satsang is there. Where you will see, there is a satsang. Satsang is very rare. It's very, very rare. In, uh, from Narad Sutra, Narad Bhakti Sutra also I have told. 
दैट सत्संग इज सो रेयर दैट द पर्सन इंडिविजुअल ऑलवेज थिंक दैट जस्ट बाई गिविंग मनी वी कैन गेट अत्संग वी कैन गेट सत्संग देन बाय दिस डूइंग दैट एक्टिविटी वी विल गेट सत्संग बट सत्संग इज इन द शास्त्र इट इज रिटर्न दैट दैट बाय लॉट ऑफ सुकृति विच वॉज देयर बैक ऑलरेडी कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम योर प्रीवियस बर्थ ओनली देन यू कैन गेट सत्संग इन सम लाइफ प्रीवियस सुकृति वॉच यू हैव कलेक्टेड Uh, in your previous birth, what is accumulated, then only you can get uh, satsang in your uh, pre- in your uh, coming days or coming life. And to to think sadhu as a sadhu and sadhu as a sadhu, that that is very dangerous. To think that sadhu is a sadhu and a sadhu as a sadhu, you have just hear a lot of hari katha, and uh, after hearing so much of hari katha, Prabhupad actually speaking. After hearing so much of हरि कथा still uh, up till now uh, you are in the संसार your there is a attachment to this material world still you have a attachment in this material world to the material objects and you are just uh, 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 and this whole materialistic world is just an issue in front of us what we can do in this Prabhupada actually speaking that I am very surprised. I am very much surprised to see that how it is possible that uh, with only one hari katha, he are they are just giving it a new molding to a hari katha, which can just give uh, the uh, can transform the whole heart. We can just uh, destroy the whole materialist materialism from our heart. If uh, by hearing hari katha, we are not getting that. transformation in our heart then it means you think that there is lot of aprad inside the heart prabhupad speaking that this is a very uh, it is unlucky we are unlucky that uh, up till now our material relationship we are feeling so much attachment to this material world and we are still not getting detached to this material attachment by by doing a satsang you will not get krishna at all this is the basic formula different different kind of a satsang you will do you have to leave that whatever vyasan all you have to leave whether it is very difficult to leave that but still you have to leave that there is no other way apart from that no other pathway apart from that to get a satsang million from millions of life in by doing a satsang in crores of life also millions of life also you will not get the uh, kripa of krishna you will not get the lotus feet of krishna you have to by your heart internally you have to remove that dusang a satsang and if you will do uh, sadhu association then only you can uh, just get uh, actual kripa an actual happiness you have definitely have to leave that do sang and after leaving that asad sang and when do after that you are doing such sang association of sadhu then only it is possible then something can be done otherwise uh, it is not possible at all to if krishna is the only target in our life that uh, krishna is the only the lotus feet of krishna is my only target then whosoever person in this whole material world that uh, he can just uh, makes uh, some distinction in his pathway if somebody has already taken a bow that he has uh, internally th- has thinking that he has this target that uh, the krishna lotus feet of krishna is my only target then bhagwan shri krishna that uh, he don't want anything apart from shri krishna as lotus feet that he is thinking as the topmost treasure as krishna lotus feet is his topmost treasure for that bhakt for that devotee uh, nobody nobody will uh, nobody can uh, give disadvantage to him at all 
nobody can uh, uh, give any kind of disadvantage to him in his life if that if he will be doing some disadvantage to that devotee then he will definitely get a lot of disadvantage this is whatever uh, the material things are there it is all the object of the service of krishna only this is for the service of krishna only but but whatever which is related to which is those things which are related to krishna which is related to hari if you are just making uh, you are just thinking on the equal and even to your enjoying mood then definitely you will uh, get entangled in this material world then definitely you will get a satsang and you will just get entangled in this material world the most important thing is a satsang the water roop ko swami pad has told a lot about this the top most uh, disadvantage uh, is all this but uh, by doing so much of efforts in the way of our uh, bhakti pathway we are not getting uh, up uh, in our realization of our consciousness that's why we have already spoken about this point previously the about prabha that that uh, shri chaitanya dev who is chaitanya dev actually in order to understand that all kind of different kind of a satsang we need to live whether mother father child sister whosoever is there wife everything you have need to live because chaitanya vimukh what is not good for mahaprabhu is who are against mahaprabhu everyone everything every kind of association you need to leave that because then that uh, if you will not leave those association then nothing will go in the pathway of that actual bhajan because whatever kind of association uh, which is against mahaprabhu that is called dusang as- asatsang that they will just take all the vitals and minerals and vitamins of your bhajan and all this kind of dusang definitely our atma our uh, health of our atma the health of our atma will uh, not get nourished at all uh, but in a reverse all the stu- uh, worms and insects inside our uh, inside our body all these people who are dusangi they will just eat up the vitals all these insects and worms inside our uh, inside our uh, body they will whatever vitamins we are taking all those insects are just taking those essential vitamins and minerals so that's why we are not getting uh, nourishment in our body in uh, whatever kind of weak point is there like uh, to get pratishtha vasana labh puja whatever is there inside us this all kind of uh, comes in the category of asatsang different kind of uh, vichar dhara of asatsang only whatever percentage is there in asatsang we just want to leave that we have that uh, uh, thing that we will leave that uh, this this much percentage of asatsang then definitely we should get that much percentage of uh, satsang that we will get the association of sadhu definitely we will just uh, have increment in our bhajan to just avoid dusang to just avoid association of materialistic persons and uh, to just get the association of the sadhus when it will come inside your heart then different kind of anarth inside our heart will definitely get vanquished in the way of the bhajan the top most thing the top most thing is this only this is this is the main problem this dusang asatsang dusang dusang is what kind of like how it will come in our life that is very difficult to understand how it will come how how it will come in our life we can't even understand whether in the form of friend whether in the form of seva seva ka roop mein bhi aa sakta it can come in the form of seva as well 
लाइक गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज ही कांट सी विद हिज आईज एक्सटर्नली वेरी वेरी लाइक अ ब्लाइंड ओनली ही कांट सी क्लियरली बट बाबा जी महाराज एक्चुअली वन माता जी स्पीकिंग शी इज एक्चुअली यंग ओनली बट हर एज इज नॉर्मल इन मिडल शी इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग टू बाबा जी महाराज इन फ्रंट ऑफ फ्रंट ऑफ भजन कुटीर ऑफ बाबा जी महाराज शी स्पीकिंग एक्चुअली शी ही कांट सी क्लियरली बाबा जी महाराज then that lady speaking with the, and crying and loudly oh snake is there snake is there baba ji maharaj snake is there baba ji maharaj heard that after that uh, baba ji maharaj uh, is speaking where is snake where is snake oh oh actually it's there only it's just going there he must have he must have uh, uh, bitten you baba ji maharaj speaking where is snake i want that that snake should come and bite me and he should because i i can't do any satsang and i can't be able to do hari bhajan and so that snake has just gone from your side only baba ji maharaj actually told that i want that snake should bite me because bhajan i can't do i can't do association satsang when that mata ji going away you see the actually the playing of maya devi baba ji maharaj speaking you can see the playing of maya devi in the in the service of seva oh maharaj ji i just want to serve you <laughs> so like this i have already seen in that uh, she, she is actually was washing the uh, cloth of sanyasi but it is prohibited to uh, wash the even to even to touch the cloth of uh, sanyasi it is prohibited so in the form of seva also it will come so nice seva actually in the form of nice seva it is coming that you can't even imagine that from where the satsang or dushang is coming why and from where it is coming so this uh, this dushang actually shilarup go swami pad speaking hum log ko they shilarup go swami told us and is giving us the instructions regarding this atyahar have already told prayas means i have already told prajalp what is prajalp नियम आग्रह वॉट इट इज जन संघर्ष च लोलन च सर्वी व्यक्ति विनश्य दी ऑल आई हैव डिस्कस ऑलरेडी एंड वॉट इज द एक्चुअल भाष्य ऑफ भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर दैट समरी दैट इन द इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पोएम ही हैज जस्ट रिटर्न अ कमेंट्री ऑन इट ऑल काइंड ऑफ आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इट प्रीवियसली दैट वॉट इज विषय एंड शिचंगी वॉट इट इज and what are tat sanghi those who are actually doing the association of those uh, yashit sanghi that is called tat sanghi you are actually not doing yashit sanghi but those who are doing yashit sanghi to do their association that is called tat sanghi that is also strictly prohibited bishai yashit sanghi tat tat sanghi aar aar uske baad mayavadi and after that mayavadi basic vichar of mayavadi have already told you that uh, they 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 don't have that uh, nityata about guru vishnu bhagwan they don't believe in the permanent swarup of uh, guru vishnu bhagwan and dharma dwaji who are just taking the flag of dharm in their hand and just waving it they are just a flag holder dharma dwaji do are just those who are just holding the flag in their hand of dharm पताका है दट फ्लैग दे आर जस्ट होल्डिंग इन देयर हैंड दे आर जस्ट गोइंग बट एक्चुअली इन एक्चुअल दे आर नॉट फॉलोइंग एनी थिंग दे आर एक्चुअली धर्म भोजी प्रभुपाद लॉट ऑफ टाइम हैज टोल्ड अस अबाउट दिस पॉइंट दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली बंगाली वॉट डज इट मीन एक्चुअली इट मीन्स द एक्चुअल मीनिंग इज दैट दैट धर्म ध्वजी दोज हु आर एक्चुअली जस्ट टेकिंग द फ्लैग ऑफ धर्म और एंड जस्ट मूविंग द फ्लैग एंड दे आर इन एक्चुअल नॉट फॉलोइंग एवरी थिंग दैट आई एम गॉड यो आई एम साधु आई एम आचार्य आई एम दिस आई एम दैट लाइक दिस इज जस्ट मेकिंग हिज टाइटल and he is just making his uh, own qualities uh, speaking in front of others they are actually dharmadwaji 
ਦੀਸ ਧਰਮ ਦਵਾਜੀ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਆਚਰਨ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਦਾ ਧਰਮ ਦਵਾਜੀ ਦਾ ਆਚਰਨ ਦਾ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਆਚਰਨ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਜਸਟ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਗਾਰਬੇਜ ਆਚਰਨ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਐਕਚੁਅਲ ਭਗਤੀ so if that bonded jeev will just be seeing that uh, dharma dwaji is acharan and he will just be thinking of that only maybe this is only bhakti what he is doing if uh, someone questions us that what is acharan acharan you are speaking what is acharan actually that like vamshidas baba ji he is not taking how much time bath and gorkishar das baba ji how much taking bath what acharan you are saying acharan means that external acharan and internal acharan external acharan by to to remain uh, uh, pure all the time externally and just to uh, get away from all the contamination of the external material world and internal material world and internal purification means acharan means that you need bhakti that is bhakti whosoever has bhakti more bhakti in his heart it is more he is more uh, established in his acharan acharan means bhakti so those sadhus pure devotees actually exalted devotees what they actually used to do bhakti only they are sitting walking eating seeing whatever they are doing that actually is all bhakti so acharan means is bhakti that is one meaning in one word if i'll speak one meaning that is called this is actually acharan acharan means bhakti who who whoever will be having more bhakti will be having perfect acharan and acharan externally we just uh, speak about the word acharan then mayavadi also will uh, we will always see that mayavadi also have acharan their, their etiquette they have more they have nice etiquette because they are not speaking with any woman and they have that dry vairagya and they are just not taking anything not doing any satsang but actually they are the topmost satsangi they are actually doing the topmost association of this materialist material world they are the topmost satsangi why because they are not doing bhakti they don't have bhakti inside their heart they don't believe in god they don't believe in the eternal swarup of bhagwan so that's why they are the topmost satsangi because they don't do bhakti so acharan means that to do bhakti that is the uh, actual meaning bhakti vinod thakur, thakur is, a, is actually speaking if uh, they are just taking the flag of the dharma and just taking the flag in front of them and uh, they are actually not following the f- f- shastras and rules and regulations of vedas and shastras then they don't have acharan so prabhupad actually speaking that all these uh, dharma dhvaji gan those who are just taking the flag of uh, dharma they actually not following anything and they are not doing any kind of seva so by associating with them what will happen all those bonded soul actually all those bonded soul are already in their bonded state bonded jeevas bonded jeevas are always in their bonded state they are already they are in the bonded state of this there is uh, no question but but when these was the dharma dwaji gan when we see them what kind of acharan they are doing that bonded jeevas will be finding more bondage in their life uh, by seeing their acharan they will get more in the bondage what they were feeling the previous bondage they will get into more bondage now prabhupa speaking they will be just tightening their bondage more and more so that's why maya prabhupa ji prabhupa bhakti mo thakur actually speaking that sangi ar mayavadi dharma dhaji nastik prakar शेष those uh, rules regulations which are there in the shastra and, and those rules which are shown by pure guru vishnu 
नॉट टू जस्ट टेक दो रूल्स रेगुलेशन इन योर लाइफ देन इट इज कॉल नियम अग्रह दैट इज नियम अग्रह नॉट फॉलोइंग द रूल्स रेगुलेशन सेट बाय प्योर गुरु वैष्णव वैन द शास्त्र एंड देर इज अनदर नियम आग्रह तो रूप गोस्वामी पाद एक्चुअली राइटिंग है नियम आग्रह नियम आग्रह रूप गोस्वामी पाद राइटिंग बट नियम आग्रह एक्चुअली आग्रह भक्ति में ठाकुर जी एक्चुअली इज मेकिंग अ वेरी स्पेशल विचार ऑन दिस दैट नियम का आग्रह मीन्स दैट नॉट टू फॉलो द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन एंड द सेकेंड मीनियम नियम आग्रह दैट दे हैव मोर मोर रुचि इन फॉलोइंग मोर रूल्स तो गुरुदेव एक्चुअली is actually speaking to one person who is a more adhikari who is having more adhikar that person who used to do previously rules and regulation he used to follow gurudev told that actually you don't do this now you do this seva and actually previously what acharan he was just rules and regulation he was actually uh, finding it good to follow and that was also important for him so actually this is called niyam agra he is uh, not listening to guru dev what he is speaking at present to follow but he is actually just uh, i have already given you this example that bhagavad katha is going on. and okay aarti is going on okay but aarti actually bhai hari katha only aarti is going on that is the top most aarti but they actually are not understanding they have that rules that already aarti uh, aarti time is going on okay aarti you should do but uh, with bhagavat hari katha already aarti is going on but that is called niyam agrah so these kind of uh, dosha that will become burden for them there will be no usefulness of this it will become a burden in his life लाइक परमहंस गुरु वैष्णव दे हु ऑलवेज यूज टू डू हरी कथा एंड हरी कीर्तन दे आर जस्ट गोइंग इन डेप्थ ऑफ द हरी कथा एंड हरी कीर्तन ऑफ भगवान दोज हु आर ऑल सिद्ध महात्मा हु आर एक्चुअली एट द टॉप मोस्ट पोजिशन दे ऑलमोस्ट मोस्टली इन जस्ट गिविंग मोर टाइम इन हरी कथा एंड हरी कीर्तन their most of the time is going on in hari katha and hari kirtan because he don't have any ruchi in other things that is the actual symptom of a sadhu when he will go more and more uh, ahead in his bhajan in his bhajan definitely he will get more attention on hari naam and hari katha he will be giving more attention to that because that is the actual arrangement aisa hi vyavastha that is the actual arrangement he will get uh, more and more uh, interest in hari katha and hari kirtan it doesn't mean that uh, he is not he is not liking aarti that is not like that but his uh, uh, mind is just getting attracted more to more and more to hari katha and hari kirtan that is the actual exalted sadhu that shastra is also speaking that uh, that if uh, in hari katha and hari kirtan if our heart is not uh, getting attracted or is uh, we are not feeling any attraction for hari katha kirtan then you should feel then you should feel that nothing has done in our life then if we think that then by doing hari katha hari kirtan we are we are not getting that attraction when we are not when up to that point when we are not feeling attraction it means that nothing has done up till uh, now in our life if our heart is just if our mind is just uh, atta- attached towards hari katha hari kirtan then definitely then a uh, lot of things have done in your life then you are successful in your life that is very good because a uh, uh, lot of shastro ka ye lot of shastras have given this uh, uh, praman the, the, this final conclusion that whatever you do doing the different limbs of bhakti performing different limbs of bhakti ultimately if you are not getting uh, 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 getting a ruchi in hari katha and hari kirtan you are not uh, attaining that then your uh, nothing will be done kuch nahi hua nothing will be done vishakshena katha sujo na paade truti yadi shromo eva hi kevalam bekar ho jaye everything will get uh, useless to shuddh guru vishnu so all those pure guru vishnu 
देयर हार्ट देयर माइंड इज ऑलवेज देयर ऑलवेज दे आर जस्ट डूइंग हरि कथा हरि कीर्तन और भगवान ऑलवेज रिमेंबरिंग भगवान ऑल दे आर ऑलवेज अटैच टू दैट ऑफ दिस दे आर नॉट दे आर नॉट गेटिंग एनी दोष और अपराध जब रूप गोस्वामी पाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इफ इन दिक्सटी फोर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ भक्ति लिम्ब इन श्रवण कीर्तन इज द टॉप मोस्ट एंड इफ वी आर जस्ट गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टू श्रवण कीर्तन दैन एवरीथिंग विल बी डन एंड द अदर साधन अंग एंड द अदर साधन अंग वी आर नॉट गेटिंग दैट मच अट्रैक्शन दैट इज नेचुरली दैट इज नेचुरल रुचि ऑफ हरि कथा हरि कीर्तन सो नियम अग्रह इट मीन्स दैट नॉट टू टेक द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन एंड नियम आग्रह मीन्स दैट दैट हाउ भगवान कैन गेट सेटिस्फाइड विद अस इफ इफ इट इज नॉट द बिग फैक्टर इन सम वंस लाइफ दिस फैक्टर इज नॉट द बिग फैक्टर इन सम वंस लाइफ देन देन दैट आई शुड यू आई शुड फॉलो दिस रूल और और नॉट then by following the rule whether uh, krishna will become will become satisfied with me or niyam or whether he do niyam agraham or whether he is just getting more into giving attention more to the rules and regulations so all those pure devotees for them actually where all those rules goes nobody knows they are actually just uh, With their, uh, they are just uh, going into in the priti me seva of Bhagwan and Hari Katha Kirtan so much that externally they are not doing any kind of rules and regulation externally because they are they are for them uh, they are niyam agra whether they are you are actually following different kind of rules and regulation whether of the shastras only but for a pure devotee. it is not at all applicable why because uh, whatever rules and regulations strict rules and regulations you are following it is not at all applicable for paramhans version of this will this will actually become a great distress for all those paramhans version of why because he is he is already doing seva all the time under the lotus on to the lotus feet of krishna all the time 24 hours राधा रानी वॉट एवर रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन यूल मेड फॉर राधा रानी यू यू कॉन्ट गो देर ओ वेर वेर यू आर गोइंग देर सो सो मच सो मेरी रिक्शन यू वेल पुट फॉर राधा रानी that will uh, become a restriction for the seva of radha rani maybe radha rani will be doing seva for krishna anyhow but that will become restriction for radha rani and those actually who are actually new in this uh, vidhi mark they have haven't uh, understand the vidhi mark they haven't understand vidhi mark bhajan is a very far distant thing uh, they have ju- haven't taken a guru charan ashray also properly and they d- did not understand what is anugatya and what are the r- rules and regulations of vidhi mark is there they are okay just following it but uh, uh, so this kind of fanciful attitude of this person of this uh, of this jiva whatever he is doing according to his own uh, thinking he is doing this kind of vyasan this uh, in order to control it the vidhi mark is very much important is very essential because it will just uh, make us more uh, disciplined uh, will it will make us more regulated and disciplined in a, in our bhajan life that is vidhi marg is very good for that but those paramhans like gor kishor das baba ji vamshi das baba ji maharaj if you will give him moles and rule regulations on them if you will just attribute moles rules and regulations on them that will not be useful because their heart is always uh, going uh, towards bhagwan so why you will give him more new rules and regulation giving him more restriction so that is natural so whatever rules and regulations that will become uh, that will become a barrier for them because they are doing all all the time bhajan their life is all bhajan only so what rules you will make for him so niyam agrah niyam agrah all actually it is just related to bonded souls bonded jiva it is called of uh, it's all, it is one kind of impediments and it is just like thrones in the way of uh, a devotee 
so if you will just uh, you will just be going on your own individual efforts and you will be just following your own individual rules and regulation bhagwan should go in hell and uh, whether he is satisfied or not but rules and regulations are uh, very important i have to follow that everything is rules i have to do this actually krishna actually somebody told in the bal bhog you have to give uh, something uh, mishri and makhan and butter and uh, mishri in uh, morning oh it will take time because i have this lot of part and kirtan is there i after do after i have stotra part what you will do by doing stotra part if guruji is speaking that uh, you have to immediately give uh, bal bhog to krishna by giving butter and mishri to bhagwan for just for the satisfaction of krishna how bhagwan will get satisfied how bhagwan will get satisfied that there is no actually he is not seeing as that satisfaction oh actually a lot of rules are there i have to do stotra part this that so this is the thing so that is niyam agraha so i when i was doing 84 cross parikrama rajmandal parikrama i just went to gokul baldav ji there i went actually i just want to speak this point but still i am speaking that because this is just my own realization i am speaking in front of you i actually went there and uh, he, the, there is no sevak actually there and one old lady is there brajwasi she is actually not uh, uh, opening the great i i just uh, went in the veranda i was just doing now but he was not opening the door because the instruction was there not to open the door on that old brajwasi lady somebody has given him the instruction but actually, but she actually don't know who, who will come uh, you have to open the door and uh, who will not come you don't have to open so actually i was just uh, sitting outside and doing hari naam after 2 hours what happens he the, the person has just came that that maharaj came there and oh you why you are there in veranda i am just standing outside veranda okay and uh, there are different different rules and regulations for him he has told and that old lady actually is doing all the stuff and uh, something and he is do- she is not actually breaking his rules she is not uh, opening the door so this is actually niyam agraha i have already told this previously that uh, he has just uh, taken a silent vrat in the parvat baba maharaj but one brahmachari and uh, one exalted uh, sadhu just came there and he is actually asking uh, no no mat, no pujari is in the mat actually he went to the market nobody was there in the mat and he was not speaking and he is just taken a silent vow so he is not speaking anything if some ba- if a devotee like tirth goswami maharaj bharti goswami maharaj is just going there if he will not speak then you just need to break that silent vow and just speak in front of them so actually is not speaking anything so I, that is called comes in category of niyam agraha so bhakti no thakur actually speaking that niyam agraha that not to take the niyam uh, rules and regulation and to make to uh, uh, to make your life everything that rules and regulation everything in your life all these two things actually that definitely it will become a burden for us in our last time we will not get uh, increment in our bhajan rather it will just become a barrier in front of our bhajan it will become like a hanging rope uh, in our uh, bhajan life anki shwa adhikar ka to niyam barjan apna adhikar ka that according to your own adhikar whatever you have to follow if you are not following that then is that is called niyam agraha shwa adhikar ka to niyam barjan according to your own capacity adhikar you are not doing you are not following the rules and regulation and someone have a big adhikar and he has uh, and to get dished on that that is good but all this comes actually very dangerous where actually you will go and it will just uh, throw all the jeevas where you will never know about that so prabhupada always used to speak this point that that according to our own adhikar if we are doing some work or doing some seva 
दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड अधिकार अकॉर्डिंग टू आर ओर कैपेसिटी बिकॉज According to the capacity or adhikar going according to that only that is called quality, that is the guna bali, and just to, not to follow that, and just to go for a higher adhikar over your own more than your capacity, then it it will be dangerous. That will become uh, uh, that will become reverse for you. That will be dangerous for you. भक्ति मोहन ठाकुर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग वेरी नाइसली दीज ऑल सिक्स काइंड ऑफ वेग सिक्स काइंड ऑफ दोष एक्चुअली दे आर जस्ट लाइक थॉन्स इन द वे ऑफ भक्ति अत्याहार आई है ऑलरेडी टोल्ड और एवरी थिंग आई हैलरेडी डन एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक इट नाउ अगेन Now Bhakti Mr. Thakur actually just Marmanu going uh, again a marmanuvad uh, of this uh, and just in the form of a kirtan he is just explaining us sanjay vishay prayasi anukatha prajalpani anu adhikar niyama agrahe asa sanga sangathani asthir siddhante rohini majiya hari bhakti hoilo dure rahilo dure ए हृदय मात्र पर हिंसा मधो प्रतिष्ठा सत्रथा स्पुरे मतलब दैट इज जस्ट प्रेइंग टू भगवान श्री हरि भगवान टू भगवान दैट ऑल काइंड ऑफ विषय जस्ट कलेक्टिंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंट मनी एंड ऑल मटेरियल टॉकिंग्स एक्चुअली माय होल माय ऑल प्रजल एक्चुअली आई एम बिजी एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अधिकार which is not at all suitable for me just want to take a higher adhikar of others in my life and just want to leave my own adhikar i am not at all interested in my own adhikar i am interested in others adhikar that is all coming in niyam agra all comes in the association of a satsang but actual siddhant siddhant means siddhant means to change to change siddhant is not at all possible siddhant means siddhant that in the way of that bhakti what if you are doing there is no ali there is no addition and subtraction maman goswami maharaj always used to speak this that in the legislative assembly in parliament they are actually all making addition and such and alteration can be done in the rules and regulations they can just add some new rules that can be done but in the pathway of uh, spiritual life whatever the rules and regulations are uh, established by our shastras or the pure devotees have given us that is subject to amendment that is not subject to amendment you cannot change those rules ha huh, maybe these uh, uh, just in the in the pathway of that absolute prema externally he is actually not following those rules and regulation like bamshi das baba ji maharaj there is no rules at 3 3 o'clock in the afternoon he is just doing a kitchen of krishna for krishna and he is just making a, a bhog offering at 4:30 at 5 pm and after that he is taking prasada you will be seeing that uh, what kind of uh, rules he is following actually he is pratishthit so in prema so in the way of prema these rules and rules and regulation will become detestful fade away it will fade away sometimes bhagwan has to just change the rules and regulations for his pure devotees but that is very rare only for his pure devotees that's it so bhakti mr thakur is actually speaking that i am just uh, here to just collect more and more money and i'm just uh, in uh, getting busy in getting uh, more material efforts and i'm just talking material talkings 
and in prajalpa i am just going inside that and uh, i am doing niyam agrah and uh, i am doing all kind of satsang and and bhakti mein thakur speaking and uh, i'll be i am just uh, already fell into all this in this astir siddhant i am just i have just already fell down in this and i am feeling that uh, all kind of happiness is there in this astir siddhant which is unstable siddhant sometimes there will be unstability inside our heart maybe siddhant will not be there inside our heart so that is called unstable siddhant so where there is hari bhakti where that hari bhakti has gone away why i haven't got any hari bhakti that inside our heart what have what will happen there is actually we are just getting a hinsa uh, for others and for like we need more la puja pratishtha we have that kapat bhav inside our heart it is always there inside our heart all the time this kind of agrah all these kind of wish um, to get rid of them to get rid of them of all this wish it is not at all possible for me so to just leave all these wish i am actually uh, unable to leave them so who to to who so ever i can just uh, blame actually i am actually i am just uh, the treasure of all the blame blamers and i'm just blaming everyone i am myself is a big blamer and uh, by blaming uh, others i am just uh, getting destroying my life my life is actually going into vain all my life all my this birth has got has gone into vain oh prabhu oh krishna actually i am just entangled in all these things and my life has just become uh, has been destroyed and now what i can do you just tell me now i am just become a patit and you are actually patit pavan and uh, you just need to save me now from all this i am actually become fallen now and you are the you are actually patit pavan no you are the savior of the fallen so you need to now save me from all this by just taking your uh, uh, holy name pure holy name i am actually calling you oh hari i am just taking shelter of your lotus feet i am just calling you with a humble mood and uh, i have that uh, relationship with you from infinity time and while you are a sevya tatva i am your servant i am not uh, the person who will enjoy i don't have that enjoying mood i don't have anything in this life i have all i am just speaking your holy name o oh prabhu and i have that relationship with you that i am your servant and you are my master and i am taking shelter of you i am just uh, crying in front of you and it is your will that whether you will save me or not save me because you know better what to do you what you will do you know better prabhu bhakti shila bhakti sadan saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad actually he also in every shloka for every shloka he is actually giving one uh, nice uh, interpretation bhakti siddhan saraswati ko swami thakur pao told has written it is actually bengali but it is very easy to understand because why prabhupad language is very difficult but still uh, you will get the time to understand it if you will just carefully understand this point that prabhupad speaking those who are actually cre- uh, collecting more and more uh, collection he is collecting more money more clothes in those in those uh, uh, we in their life we just find that they are just uh, collecting more and more they are just collecting more and more he is all already busy in collecting more and more all the four direction is going for cloth collection money collection all so those who are actually going for more collection of um, the things material objects and whatever is uh, uh, required to maintain 
एंड इफ यू आर जस्ट टेकिंग मोर देन योर कैपेसिटी जस्ट कलेक्टिंग मोर इन देयर लाइफ एक्चुअली हु आर एक्चुअली इन देयर लाइफ एक्चुअली जस्ट गोइंग इन जस्ट कलेक्टिंग मोर एंड मोर दैट एक्चुअली आर अत्याहारी दे डों दे कांट हैव भक्ति इन देयर लाइफ अट्रैक्शन फॉर ऑल दिस मटीरियल ऑब्जेक्ट and with the desire uh, he has inside his heart that he just want to get more and more material association and enjoying mood in that and he has no connection with bhakti at all prakito vastur ase bhoge jar mon prayasi tar naam bhakti hin jan iska naam prayasi that is called prayasi prayas se prajalpo i have already told that prayas means that which has no connection with the krishna bhajan but still he is actually just uh, making his efforts in the in that uh, way that is called prayasi who is making more and more efforts which has no connection with krishna bhajan that is called bhakti hinjan prabhupada actually speaking he is actually bhakti he don't have any bhakti inside his heart krishna kata chari जीवा एक्चुअली जस्ट स्पीकिंग ऑल मटीरियल टॉकिंग्स ही इज ऑलवेज इंडल्जिंग मटीरियल टॉकिंग्स ऑल रबिश टॉकिंग्स विच इज गार्बेज ही स्पीकिंग ऑल रबिश ही स्पीकिंग ऑल अनुकथा दैट इज कॉल्ड प्रजलपी that in the in the way of bhajan he is actually becoming distressful and unhappy and uh, like vaishnav log vaishnav always used to speak this ram bhajan ka alsi bhojan ka usyar that with apart from krishna he is actually just speaking all material talkings and he is actually prajalpi and is brave in taking food and not in taking ram naam and he is just speaking all rubbish uh, material things aur bhajan mein udasi and he has just become more distressful while doing hari bhajan and become more happy and indulge in showing more indulgement in material things in karm kandi also in doing karm material karm he is actually experienced he is very experienced in that but in doing bhajan is very feeling unhappy and distressful that uh, starting his uh, his desire has no ends material desire has no ends that is why he is having more niyam agraha more following more and more rules and regulations without satisfaction giving satisfaction to krishna and guru vaishnav he is actually ati din because always feeling distressful in he is very busy in doing uh, karm material karm and he is feeling distressful in doing hari bhajan this is called niyam agrahi and he has no connection with bhakti at all because uh, bhakti is actual treasure विदाउट कृष्ण भक्त एसोसिएशन इफ यू आर डूइंग ही इज एक्चुअली डूइंग अदर एसोसिएशन ऑल मटीरियल एसोसिएशन ही इज एक्चुअली बिजी इन अदर एसोसिएशन एंड नॉट डूइंग कृष्ण एसोसिएशन नॉट बाय नॉट डूइंग कृष्ण भजन एंड इज जस्ट बिजी इन इंडलजिंग इन अदर एसोसिएशन by not doing any association of krishna bhakt he is actually indulge in other association material that is called jad sanghi and 
he is actually his anxiety is not going uh, from this material uh, world and he is actually is just going uh, in unstable condition higher and higher way and for his self interest only he is just uh, for his own um, uh, sensual gratification he in order to maintain his sensual gratification he is actually going to different different places just uh, because he has instability in his heart and wherever he will go he has that greed inside his heart and he can't leave that greediness because he is greedy for uh, more material objects and uh, there are different different kinds of uh, greediness inside his heart and he don't have uh, bhakti he is actually bhakti hin without any bhakti so this kind of six kind of uh, different uh, things we, these kind of uh, defects six kind of defects if a person is having inside them then they can't get bhakti at all these kind of six defects what i have told you now Do all these kind of six defects all kind of six defects with that person they don't be getting that adhikar in bhakti they will not get bhakti at all and, and they will become bhrasht they will just destroy their life and they will become materialistic in their life whether they are uh, maybe they are tyagi ji maharaj maybe he is a tyagi person maybe he is a, taking a silent vow whatever is doing nothing will happen so bhakti mr thakur uh, has written in this i have already completed this and in the shastras also it is written there that uh, uh, about gyani gan uh, that that previously i have just uh, told that day that avidya upasate that amrit sagar mein the which is there in the ocean they are already there in that uh, ocean of amrit and and those uh, jnani jnani persons jnani uh, jnani individuals those who are doing a satsang okay they are actually uh, just uh, worshiping avidya they are actually in uh, andhatamo tamagun and uh, more andhatamo those people are there those who are actually just worshiping ati vidya andhatamo means mode of darkness that person will be there who is actually worshiping avidya okay but those persons who are just worshiping ati vidya that they will be more uh, going into deep uh, ocean of darkness so these six kinds of uh, uh, six kind of uh, adhikari persons individuals they uh, bhakti they are actually bhakti hin without any bhakti and their uh, target has just uh, now been uh, uh destroyed and uh, all those gyani guns sanjay annabilasi digir utishay sangrohi atyahar ka andar it all comes in the uh, in the category of atyahar gyani gun that all those gyani guns that they are just prac- they have just uh, start uh, uh, karmi actually just uh, uh, removed the uh, karma yagya and all the wives also they have just uh, uh, their vidhi of their practicing uh, doing vrat different kind of vrat and different kind of uh, 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 the just um, um, removing uh, wives and children from their life 
or extra etc all these practices if we see then then all the gyani gun actually they have that uh, tark vitark uh, do all those gyani guns they always uh, uh, in the shastras they are very uh, uh, top most in uh, tark vitark and uh, with that uh, pratishtha is not there with tark tark vitark they are always busy in tark vitark all the time just uh, fighting uh, on the tar, uh, on the pratishtha of shastra only there is no pratishtha for shastras so all those gyani gan actually they have the shastrik vichar there is no relationship with bhakti at all a lot of times i have already discussed this point so all those gyani gyani guns actually they are actually have that panditya inside them and always tark vitark is going on with that shastra vichar and karm and all those anyavilashi individuals who have a, 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 apart from bhakti they have their inside their heart that all comes in the category of prajalpa uh, when they have uh, no bhakti inside their heart apart from bhakti everything is there and for uh, to of and for getting mukti also they want to get mukti they have their final target to attain mukti they these mayavadi people actually and uh, uh, they are just uh, taking the uh, the instructions given in the gyan shastras uh, that is not of any use actually the, the main thing point main point is is shruti sthiti puran all these uh, shastras and panchratra etc if you are not following them and uh, in, uh, and uh, individually he is just showing silently that he is actually doing hari bhajan that is actually uh, not at all good that is called utpat which is uh, which will uh, bring about destruction so there are a lot of vichar in this what i am already telling you so atya all these six kind will definitely are against bhakti these with with these six kind of sadhana the only you you will not get uh, krishna anugatya at all because it will definitely destroy the bhakti all these six kinds of uh, six kind of uh, pratikul vishay which is not at all, which is against bhakti the by sadhana actually our uh, the by uh, doing this sadhana of these six things definitely everything will get destroyed and in this region of maya in this reen of maya every individual is just uh, serving maya devi only everyone wants to become a prabhu he just wants to become a uh, uh, acharya that kind of uh, vasana that kind of desire inside their heart is there all the time that will just rapidly increase all the time and the sarvottam krishna bhakti will not get inside his heart and this kind of uh, and this kind of uh, uh, desire to do krishna bhakti will get destroyed inside his heart because he want to become prabhu because he want to become prabhu of each and everything what is there in this material world so this kind of desire when he has inside his heart then definitely what will happen that sarvottam krishna bhakti will get uh, destroyed this will uh, go away from his heart so this kind of uh, bhava will just uh, uh get destroyed that uh, rubo swami pad actually speaking this kind of vichar 
that uh, we are just uh, uh, following rapidly in the falling condition this kind of uh, this kind of thinking will not come in his mind uh, that uh, he is actually going into the fallen uh, condition actually he is actually want to so he will just uh, not be thinking that point also that uh, whether he is going he is going in fallen in in the fallen condition so all these six kinds of things i have already discussed now the third number shlok uh, third number shlok of upadesh amrit is Pre- previously first one in the first shlok uh, already i have told about the main uh, lakshan of uh, who is actually sadhu and who is goswami and uh, who can be goswami what are the characteristics and second shlok i have already told Uh, that what are against uh, the bhakti which uh, things are uh, the barrier in the way of bhajan i have already told and what are actually uh, anukul for bhakti what are against the bhajan i have already told against bhakti because different kind of things can come in the way of bhakti pratikul vishe pratikul vishe which are against bhakti if you are just understanding that is good if you are not understanding that is not good so what is anukul for bhakti i have already told about what are against bhakti that uh, the characteristics of uh, sadhu and acharya have already told in the first shloka now i will be just telling uh, what are uh, good for uh, increasing bhakti so rup goswami pad actually speaking jab tat tat karma bhavartana shango tegat sato vritte sharvir bhakti prasiddh So these six kind of vishay will be definitely will increase our bhakti krishna bhakti inside our heart that will they are actually anukulya they are not against bhakti they are good for bhakti what are they that is utsah utsah for for what purpose in which vishay in the way of bhakti sadhan that utsah that anxiety if the utsah is going according to the gaudiya vichar that's good if it is going against that then it's not good at all so utsah that uh, uh, all in the way of bhakti sadhan that will uh, just increase our bhakti increment will be there dusra hai dhaiyo second is dhairya patience That is uh, what is anukul you for uh, uh, different different uh, anusthan, and uh, you have to just leave uh, the bad association and uh, sadhu vritti. What is the actual sadhachar for a sadhu? Uh, just to uh, take the characteristic of sadhachar. These are the different six kind of uh, uh, bhakti. They will uh, just give maturity in bhakti. So what is actually utsah in which which she? What is utsah in the way of sadhana bhakti? Utsah should be there. Sometimes what happens? Uh, uh, one sometimes persons thinking what will happen? Uh, what will happen by doing bhakti? Sometimes become cold bhajan. Nishchayat means having uh, dread sankalp that yes, without Krishna bhakti, if I have Krishna bhakti, then everything I have, everything is there in Krishna bhakti. Utsah means. that uh, to get uh, maturity in bhajan and to uh, get uh, confidence in krishna bhakti dridhata means sahishnuta to get patience tat kat kam parvartana that what are actually good for bhakti that to take that sangtyaga just uh, asakti and to just remove bad association and sangtyaga means whatever uh, vishay or material things we are getting asakti we are getting attachment we just need to remove that and just to remove the bad association asat sang asat sang ka tyag just to leave asat sang means to leave bad association utsah means to just to get a maturity increment in bhakti to get sankalp uh, everything will get uh, in krishna bhajan sahishnuta means that what are uh, good for bhakti just to take that to get a sakti sang tyagat and to uh, relieve a satsang that association sang tyagat means that a sakti to get attachment and uh, towards uh, bhakti and leaving 
bad association and sadachar means to get always uh, following the acharan and etiquette of a pure vaishnava no, pure sadhu sato vritte means that whatever acharan etiquette of a sadhu you are just feeling very good what is the acharan of the sadhu you are wearing feeling very good and you are just going in that pathway now so you are just taking that pathway now that is to take the acharan of that pure sadhu that is sadachar that is actually sadachar avalamban kari and avalamban satavritte atat sadhu ka acharan avalamban wale those who are actually not following uh, the uh, we are following the pathway of sadhu definitely the, they will get bhakti and maturity will come in their bhakti utsah means uh, f- full confidence that karma anusthan asakti attachment and uh, remove leaving bad association and uh, just to take uh, sadachar of a sadhu these all six kind of vishe uh, will definitely uh, nourish our bhakti inside our heart that will just uh, give rapid increment in our bhakti inside our heart that will increase bhakti inside our heart so so we have seen that भक्ति विल गेट मेच्योरिटी इन योर लाइफ इट विल डेफिनेटली गेट मेच्योर्ड इन योर हार्ट शीला सचिदन भक्त ठाकुर जी हैज गिवन कमेंट्री ऑन दिस इन बंगाली एंड ऑल्सो रिटर्न ऑफ बंगाली कीर्तन अनुकूल संकल्प डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट सत्संग ऑल दी सिक्स काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वैन यू विल अप्लाई इन योर लाइफ डेफिनेटली विल गेट भक्ति इन साइड योर हार्ट that uh, bhakti sa uh, according to the bhakti shastra uh, the when b- we will get siddhi in bhakti yoga when we will get perfection in bhakti yoga how that when we will do the sankalp of anukulya that what are actually anukulya for bhakti that confidence sadhu vritti just to take the sadhu vritti in our life definitely he will get uh, siddhi in his bhakti automatically he will get uh, siddhi in his bhakti yoga he will get uh, siddhi in his bhakti yoga all the shastras are actually all the authentic shastras are speaking this especially the bhakti shastra that uh, he is also having that utsah in that bhakti that uh, in the way of uh, bhakti anushthan uh, you are getting a big utsah that yes i have to do bhakti so and you should you should need a lot of confidence and uh, uh, in bhakti and whatever karm you are doing by doing karma that your bhakti is uh, just increasing day by day by doing that karma by doing that that is actually you are feeling absolute happiness by doing that work your bhakti is increasing you are feeling absolute happiness inside your heart so by doing that uh, karm if you are just increasing that absolute happiness inside your heart that actually you are feeling anand inside your that karm that is our actual goal to do that kind of karm whenever you are just going to do that karm when you will just relate it with bhagwan then definitely it will not come in prayas okay the meaning is okay asatsang asatsang means what that to get satsang 
a satsang if you are doing bad association then good association is not possible and if a bad association is going on and a good association at the same time is not possible so a satsang tyag means you have to definitely have to get good association it means that when you are just leaving a satsang bad association then definitely this uh, three modes of materialization association you will not do when you will leave uh, a satsang then definitely uh, then you are just leaving a satsang then you will become nishang nishang means that you will get sadhu association association of a sadhu pure devotee by uh, just quit leaving a satsang you will just be leaving all the three modes of uh, material nature that kind of association you will leave automatically and this actually this sadachar it is very important at all each, each and every state each and every step this is very much important in bhakti you don't have to leave this point sadachar sadachar sadubritti sadasar sadhu vritti it's very very important you cannot leave that you always have to follow this sadachar and sadhu vritti and tyagi people those who are do have left everything this is actually a bengali kirtan which i'm translating tyagi tyagi person means those who are actually doing bhiksha they just do madhukari and just uh, plan their life accordingly and whatever they are getting they just need to get satisfied in that they have to do bhiksha those tyagi people they have to do madhukari tyagi bhikkha yog ke dwara by their bhiksha yog tyagi people those who have left everything they have taken the announced order they just have to take bhiksha very carefully they have to just leave lead their life and grihi they should be very careful in this point while doing this in the man marmanuvad bhakti no thakur had written in his commentary on this in this kirtan bhakti no thakur speaking in this kirtan is explaining now in a kirtan form bhakti no thakur हे हरी ऑलवेज गिव मी गिव मी कॉन्फिडेंस इन भक्ति एंड यू जस्ट गिव मी द पेशेंसी टू गेट प्रेम हाउ टू गेट योर प्रेम आ जस्ट गिव मी पेशेंसी दैट इन आवर लाइफ प्रभु एक्चुअली आई एम नॉट गेटिंग ऑल दिस इन माई लाइफ this sad bhakti sadachar all six kind of uh, qualities you, it's not uh, i am not getting in my life at all what you have told which is uh, good for bhakti and how i should uh, get your lotus feet and how can i worship your lotus feet like this i how i can leave maya and how i can do your bhajan that nishid achar which is not at all good to do that kind of achar actually i am doing and i am actually bound to do those things that that is which is not at all good but still i am bound to uh, do that which are uh, not uh, uh, written to do in the shastras which are against bhakti that i am bound to do that i have not done a satsang as well I have actually taking the vesh of a sadhu. Sadhu ka loe sadhu vesh, sadhu ka vesh. I have just taking the our uh, dress of a sadhu externally, and I just want to give the uh, upadesh to myself only. Sadhu ka vesh leka. That I have uh, I have to take the vesh of a sadhu. I will I have to give upadesh to the others as well. I have to give the instructions to others as well in the vesh of a sadhu by taking the vesh of a sadhu. and uh, i ha- i am actually not following in my life those upadesh 
I am just taking the dress of a sadhu and uh, not uh, following myself all this and just uh, uh, giving uh, all the instruction to other. That is the actual color of Maya. That is the actual actual drama of Maya. Bhakti Mohan Thakur speaking to Thakur Ji, Krishna. In this uh, condition. Only your causeless mercy, uh, only your causeless mercy uh, is everything for me. Uh, apart from that, nothing is there. By just taking the lotus feet of Gurudev, I'll just be calling you, O oh, Krishna. Uh, uh, ra- ra- by calling Radha Sham Sundar Gaur Hari, etc. I am just uh, praying on your lotus feet. I'll just be doing. I'll just be praying in front of you at your lotus feet. Shila Bhakti Mohan Thakur Ji actually has just uh, written whatever he has written. I am will not make any differentiation in that meaning. In though in those life of the bhakta, uh, those who are getting that confidence in their uh, uh, bhajan life internally and externally both. Like the utsa confidence they are having internally and externally, that confidence uh, uh, for uh, Krishna Bhajan, then they will get uh, Krishna Bhajan definitely. Who are actually dhir shant, uh, who are uh, patient, who are very patient in their life. Those who are having utsa in their bhajan, internally and externally, both always they have a lot of confidence and. Uh, lot of uh, failure to do krishna bhajan then definitely they will slowly slowly they will get krishna bhajan krishna bhakti and those who have confidence that is firm confidence that by doing krishna bhajan everything will be done by that those who have actually firm confidence that by doing krishna bhajan everything is done that that those people are actually shraddha van bhakti manjan who are full of shraddha and full of bhakti those who have found confidence in krishna bhajan those people are actually shraddha van they are actually shraddha van they are actually full of bhakti those people actually those who are not doing krishna seva when without just getting Krishna Bhakti, they are not getting uh, the serving attitude towards Krishna. And they haven't got the service of Krishna at all now, at present. But still, they are actually with full patience, with full attention and full patience. They actually they haven't got the Krishna service of Krishna. But with the very patient, with full of patience, they are doing sadhana bhakti. Those who haven't got Krishna Seva up till now. In that uh, Vishay, uh, what they will get the serving attitude towards Krishna, only that karma they will do. They always take a bow to just do that karma which is uh, good for, which is uh, set, which is satisfying Krishna. He is just taking up that and he is not getting any angry attitude at all. And he, in that karma, in that vishaya where they are actually getting a krishna seva or you in which krishna is getting satisfied in that wo only in that vrat only he is getting satisfaction automatic and if that reverse will happen then he is not getting the angry attitude also when some reverse condition comes in uh, in front of him he doesn't get angry and uh, all those abhakta who are non devotees of krishna and sometimes in uh, 
like he is actually going to bank he is going to market he will be just finding non devotees of krishna only all abhakt only but uh, he is actually not doing priti vinimay with anyone external internally with any anyone outside those who are actually non devotees of krishna he is actually not doing the association of those people internally and is yes and he is not at all getting attached to them not associating with them internally but externally just showing them that is actually uh, and he is actually all the time doing under the guidance of sadhu krishna bhajan though those people who are actually krishna those devotees who are doing krishna bhajan that actually krishna bhakt he very carefully have to understand and he will just very carefully be seeing everything that uh, everything whatever guru vaishnav uh, are doing actually he is just following that and what krishna bhakt is doing we have to just follow him if uh, we will just uh, Im- imitate them then definitely we will uh, our bhakti we will uh, be just uh, distorted from the pathway of shuddha bhakti so those all those krishna bhakt who so ever he is doing what kind of gurudev all pure vaishnavas are doing actually we have to follow that in toto under their guidance we have to follow we don't have to imitate them rather we have to follow their guidance because by imitating he will uh, be distorted from the pathway of bhakti that bhakti man vyakti actually he will whether uh, in the present life or in when when he will get died when he will be going in a killing situation definitely he will not leave that acharan and all the time he will be just doing uh, that under the guidance of pure guru vishnu and all these uh, so bhakti mat thakur saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad has written this so all these six kind of people i have already told you they are actually bhakti adhikari and this is the they are only be eligible to go to preaching all these six kind of persons and bhakti mat thakur has already already told this sudur lok krishna bhakti pave dhir rahele dhire dhire bhajane utsah jar bhitore bahire सेवा रोष कृष्णर अभक्त जनसंग परिहरि भक्तिमान भक्त संगे सदा भजे हरि कृष्ण भक्त जहा करे तदनुसरणे भक्तिमान आचरे जीवने मरणे ए जो छक सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सिक्स काइंड ऑफ पर्संस आर एक्चुअली एलिजिबल फॉर बार भक्ति अधिकारी and i have already tell you this already told the symptom about that and of uh, for whole of the material world they are actually preaching this in the they are actually eligible to do preaching in the world so what all are required that he has with sign inside him those who have those who have with sign inside their heart they have already have that nischay inside their heart already have dhairya inside their heart that they are already in bhakti karma they always want to do bhakti karma only and they are actually just leaving all the kind of bad association asat sang and they are just taking the other acharan and he is actually attracted towards the sadachar and acharan of a sadhu and according to that he is going and moving in his life and all these six kinds of bhakti definitely bhakti will get maturity and nourishment by this so anuvritti in the anuvritti bhakti mo thakur ji is writing because bhakti mo thakur ji has written marmanuvad in marmanuvad he has written jivan jatha nirbaho karne mein by just uh, living their uh, own life this bhakti anushilan that is the only uh, nourishment for them 
that they have to just lead their life and at the same time in the way of uh, anukulya rajya he they have to just follow the bhakti as well so just uh, to make our life in accordance uh, with the pathway of bhakti that whatever you are living in order to just live your life whatever you are doing you just need to make sure that you have to you are following the bhakti pathway that our life actually and uh, that our life should uh, go on our life should go on but at the same time in the when we are leading our life we are just relating it we are just diverting it we are linking it with bhagwan then definitely there is one one that those who are actually just leading their life and other who are just uh, leading their life by taking bhakti as the topmost asset and we know that uh, all those devotees their uh, life is always uh, that is also coming in the way of the bhakti only that they are just leading their life that is also for uh, devotees for pure devotees it is uh, also comes in the limb of a bhakti only but in general but in general if we talk for a normal person uh, when he is just leading his life and uh, uh, when he has to lead uh, bhakti anushinal life that is two categories for him for a normal person so by in the shloka the f- the first uh, anukul kriya what are good for bhakti uh, it's written there the first point i have already told that utsa nischaj that what is told here in this shlok that first uh, that first line of the shlok that what are actually good for bhakti those you have to take and whatever is going in our uh, life that we just need to lead our life what we have to just take good association and to leave uh, bad association and satya vritti uh, sadhu vritti all this they have just told the first line actually in the shloka the first line of the shloka the bhakti anushilan kriya the second line actually it is written that how to get bhakti that sa should be there nischay should be there nischay that nischay should be there utsah should be there everything should be there that your patience should be there and what are actually giving nourishment to bhakti just to approve that just to follow that and sangtyang means association that just to take good association and when you are just all together following it definitely you will get maturity in bhakti and if uh, all together slowly steadily if one person will follow that definitely he will uh, get siddhi in his bhakti utsaha means that in the anushthan of bhakti he has some utsaha his feelings to follow all the pathway what is related to bhag bhajan bhakti and he just won't don't want to do parikrama just want to not want to hear hari katha then he don't if he don't have that utsaha to follow that then definitely he will get a, a greed, greediness for bhakti you should get that utsaha in your bhakti it's not that uh, forcefully you have to follow but devotees always have that so from inside actually he has the desire to follow that uh, pathway that limbs of bhakti so he is getting that utsaha that bhava inside his heart <coughs> and he is not getting distressful he is not getting unhappy oh what i will get by parikrama actually definitely the bhakti will decrease and with full respect utsaha bol ke jo cheez this utsaha actually what i told in the in the in relation with bhakti that all this shravan kirtan smaran actually actually all the all parikrama actually what are the limbs of bhakti that in the way of bhakti it will actually increase utsaha from inside our heart that desire will come then uh, if he is getting if he is getting unhappy in all this then definitely the bhakti will decrease but definitely one point is there that if with respect he is just following that anushilan anushilan means that kriya that Uh, f- uh for what he is doing for, for what purpose he is doing that thing so that it comes in the way of uh, anushilan that kriya that process what he is doing so with full respect actually he has to just uh, anush- do anushilan and if he is not uh, giving respect to if he is not giving respect to the anushilan then uh, he will go hither thither way so unstability will be created inside his heart then it will not come in utsaha
and if he is doing with full respect with full anand inside his heart with absolute happiness then utsah is okay nishchay means drid vishwas full confidence that with krishna bhajan everything will be done this kind of confidence oh maharaj if bhajan will do whether bhagwan will get or not or how actually i'm just wasting my time actually he has heavy fickle mind sometimes a person a bonded soul always used to do like this he is doing and then leaving then doing then leaving sometimes he just came uh, definitely in the ongoing i'll just be uh, discussing about vishnu chakravarti pad vichar so nishchay matlab dridh vishwas that full confidence full confidence that by krish doing krishna bhajan everything will be done dharya mean patience that that our abhishta vastu that when we have just started our bhajan we must be having some target and we are starting our bhajan why we are actually came here to do bhajan why we are doing the sadhan bhajan so by doing sadhan what that sadhya vastu we will get in our life so for that only we are doing that no that is our target krishna prem and bhakti that is our target so dharya means to have that full patience inside of heart for for what purpose i am doing bhajan and i am and no from this long time i am actually doing bhajan but now i am not getting it at all so this kind of bhav actually it is called adharya it is no patience inside his heart he has to be patient he should be having full patience inside his heart that in order to get uh, if he is not getting that abhishta was to and it is taking time still it will he is following the bhakti path that is okay it is called good it is good but when he is breaking his heart in between then that is not good so dharya means with full patience full pay oh from this long time i am doing bhajan nothing is happening and in the sadhana also he is just becoming lazy oh what i will do nothing is happening actually so this should not happen at all So by by this the, nothing will happen so that's why dharya is very important so abhish for abhishta lab it is very important this patience is very very important in order to do krishna bhajan you are actually not getting that targeted vastu object of yours and you are just becoming lazy in your sadhana bhakti so it will not happen at all so dharya actually this patience if it is lost then everything is lost and uh, they uh, the those who are actually uh, nourishing our bhakti which are actually supporting to bhakti those uh, karma vidhi those things which you have to do for bhakti those who are good for the nourishment of bhakti that you have to do that is good anukulya and those which are against the activities of bhakti so there is nisheda also of two type that shravan kirtan is actually vidhi you if you will do that is good for shri krishna actually you are doing it to for doing krishna bhajan actually you are you are just uh, quitting you are leaving every uh, bhog sukh tyag everything you are uh, just quitting leaving you are enjoying mood just for krishna bhajan that is actually For whatever you are doing for shravan kirtan in order to satisfy krishna you are doing and for his satisfaction uh, what is uh, for the satisfaction of krishna what i have to leave uh, just for the satisfaction of krishna whatever vyasan whatever enjoying mood is there inside my i am just leaving that that is actually nourishing our bhakti that whatever uh, happy uh, happiness we are getting in material enjoyment we are leaving that that actually comes in uh, anukulya so because satsang is very important satsang actually in prabhupada speaking satsang means that you have to uh, leave a satsang so sangatyag means that uh, sangatyag this one word actually sangatyagat uh, prabhupada it has a inner meaning inside it that sangatyag means that just to leave that asad asad vastu asad vastu which is not at all good for bhakti all kind of things you have to those who are those things which are not uh, used for uh, uh, krishna bhajan like uh, tobacco and wine and beer and everything whatever you are taking the ganja is there actually sangatyag means in general if you are speaking 
that those thing those asad vastus which are not used for krishna bhajan so in general it is actually used sangat yagat means that those things which are not satisfying krishna and which is not used for krishna seva you just need to leave that in the main shloka also it is written there in sad sangat yag in the in one word actually sangat yag means that adharma tyag to just leave adharma those things which are uh, no connection with the krishna bhajan those things which have no, that you have to leave which have if you are getting attraction then you have to leave that which are not in connection with krishna then stri tang stri tyag yashit sang then pratishtha sa tyag then non devotees association all it comes in that only. so sangat tyag means satsang it doesn't mean like that you will uh, leave a good association satsang satsang tyag means that you have to leave this uh, women association whatever attraction you are getting towards one thing material thing you have to leave that and yashit sang you have to leave and pratishtha sa you have to leave and you have to abhakt non devotees mayavadi and those persons who are doing a satsang you just need to leave them those who are actually nastik who are not uh, believing in krishna and those dharma devajis also you have to leave their association so all it comes in the category of sangatyag so in general actually all these things actually are covered in in this one word sangatyag so all these things are covered in this sangatyag only and satovritte means that what is the actual what is coming in the acharan of a sadhu that is called sangavritti that all those sadhus who are devotees actually are just doing uh, sadacharan and all they are actually uh, called uh, just to get uh, association in that automatically he is get that association then automatically it comes in the nourishment of bhakti and whatever sadhu gan we have they are just doing a different kind of sadachar acharan we also have to take it up in our life so that we can make our life bhakti mai so that all those grihasthi vyaktis and grast vaishnavas actually they have to just uh, leading their life that is called shukla vritti bhakti vinod thakur had already written everything that uh, for grast vyakti what is a shukla vritti for him that white money with white way of income he has to lead his life with very vishuddh bhav he has to do that because with black money if you are just using it uh, in front of bhandara of krishna then you are just serving sadhu vishnu then those who are doing that definitely they will have no value they everything will get destroyed because krishna will not take that so how you will say that it is prasadam because krishna will not take it and those who will take that prasadam that will also get destroyed so those grasti vyakti who actually with their shukla vritti they are just leading their life actually uh, that they are just uh, leading their with shukla vritti they are leading their sadachar life for renounced order life they are just uh, 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 believing on uh, uh, madhukari bhiksha and grah tyagi vyakti actually according to varnashram they are just doing a madhukari bhiksha that renounced order person and he is just leading his life accordingly and grah tyagi those who they just have to follow the just following their madhukari and those grast devotees actually they have to follow that varnashram they have to follow the varnashram dharma according to that they have to follow those principles and according to the varn and ashram whatever matching your vritti is you just need to follow that is called sadh vritti that is called sadh vritti you just need to follow that according to your matching varn and ashram you have to follow your vritti just need to follow that vritti according to you just making some income and that is called comes in the way of sadh vritti so that like this what it is so up till now i will just be speaking today and just be uh, resting here and it, uh, maybe tomorrow i can just start uh, from here so अनुकूल्यवादी